this updated pendulum video I call Turbo Pendulums, made to destroy the specific meta that is Dragma, 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 throw in some Numeron, throw in some Inferno Bowl, some Megalith, and a deck that destroys all these decks. It is literally Turbo Pendulums on the max. I'll showcase you guys right now the new list, but before we do, you gotta stay tuned to the end of the video. I'm gonna showcase lots of comment tutorials and deck profile, so you must stay tuned to the end of the video to learn how to destroy all this garbage, Dragma decks, etc. But specifically with a new strategy, which I'm going to show you guys at near the end of the video. If you're new to the channel, smash the subscribe button. And you already know that the only way to play Turbo Pendulums is to turbo your way to TripGaming.com and turbo yourself a new 2 and Electrum White Clock playmat before they all sell out, baby. And they're absolutely beautiful, so get yours ASAP, ASAP, let's go. They are remarkable, highly recommend them. Uh, they're literally just the best playmats in the game, so it's only fitting to play the best deck in the game on the best playmat in the game. If you're ready for the video, boys, make sure to smash the subscribe button, and let's go straight to Turbo Pendulums! Let's go! Turbo Pendulum time, baby! Turbo Pendulums, baby! As you guys see, there's lots of new additions. We're playing Triple Jester Confit. We're playing Wonder Wands. It is turbo to the max. We're adding in its 43 cards to make sure everything is... Rather than everything jumbled up together, you don't want to draw like two, three masteries in the same turn. Playing a few extra cards in your deck, 42, 43, actually increases the odds of you not drawing three of a lot more. You don't want to draw two Desires, two masteries, etc. We're playing Wonder Wand because we threw in a bunch of level three and less extenders in the deck. A bunch. Non-pendulum cards that are very big extenders. We have a lot of them. We have 24 extenders in total. 24 extenders in total. That is ridiculous. And with additions of a lot of new draw cards, this is a way to defeat Dragma. Because all the Dragma interruptions and the forbidden droplets of the world now, and the new meta is based on monster interruptions. Florida Lee's negates a monster effect. Droplets in everyone's deck now. Everyone's playing impermanence and droplet in the main deck. You just want extender, extender, extender. So the best way to do it is to always, I might even play triple blue boy now, but obviously I don't want to. You want to hard draw the blue boy to negate one monster hand trap right away off the bat. So if they Valor this here, you are so good to go, they're going to waste a hand trap. They're literally just going to waste a hand trap for nothing. So I'm assuming right now they're hand trapping the blue boy, and I let them. And you go wonder one. And then you see here, after they hand trap the blue boy, we're going to assume there's one hand trap we're playing against here. Because if your deck can't play around one hand trap, it's a garbage deck. <laughs> Needle fiber decks, <laughs> Alistair decks, <laughs> basically every deck in the game right now cannot play through one hand trap. Inferno Bolt and Megalith can play through two hand traps. That's why I think they're both, uh, and Rock as well, I think they're both way better than these decks that lose to one hand trap. And the best deck though is just Pendulum. So here we're going to Wonder One, as you guys see the power there, where nice Florida de Lees. If they Florida de Lees the blue boy, I don't give a fuck. What if they drop with the blue boy? I don't give a fuck. You just wonder one and draw two anyways. So wonder one's a fantastic meta call for this format with everyone playing imperm, everyone playing Valor as hand traps, so more so imperm. Everyone playing drop, everyone playing Florida Lees. You know what I mean? There's so many hand trap like interruptions here. So uh, sorry, uh, monster interruptions here. So it's just uh, wonder one's a fantastic meta call. We're gonna get a free counter there. We we drew into knowledge and desires. We're playing triple Jester Confit, so Allure is way better now with the Jester Confits. We're going to summon the Jester Confit for free and knowledge it away. And now look at that. And we draw Restage and Souls. Like, that's so crazy. This is against a hand trap. If he had any other hand trap, I wouldn't care either. Like, no deck could play the two hand traps. Pendulum could, could play through 19. So here we're going to go Reflection, Souls. We're going to draw here. We're actually going to get unlucky with our, pet, with, our uh, with our draws. But this is a new way to play Pendulums. You don't want to focus on your on your draws. So we got a little unlucky there with the draws. We don't, we don't have a high scale. In three draws, we didn't draw high scale. You know, that's totally fine. I'm going to show you guys a super cool trick here that we're still going to end up with six negates, no problem. So just pay close attention here. As I said in the beginning of the video where I want you guys to stay tuned to the end of the video to learn all the tricks. Another small trick here. You want to make sure to fill up your extra deck with as many links as possible. Relinquish Anima, Daybreaker, because after your opponent cannot clear your six negates, you access Cold Talker their life away. So you want to make sure to put as many links as possible in the grave that you're not going to need. Uh, we're going to summon that out. Now, that you guys see what I just did there? So I have not yet resolved Public of Secrets. I have not resolved Public of Secrets. I don't have a card for Reflection to summon. So what I did was, with Mighty Master's Effect, I negated my own Public of Secrets by bouncing my Jackal King back to my hand. And by doing so, I summon Reflection and Jackal back now. Now I can actually summon the Reflection. If you're scared of Appaloosa, you can link the Selene and the Servant into an Appaloosa. And then you special Jester Confit because Jester Confit is not once per turn. That's why the Jester Confit is actually a really good card. Jester Confit is not once per turn. So you summon one Jester Confit, link it away as we did earlier, and then you just summon another one later in your turn. So Jester Confit is really cool. 
Uh, here we're going to go into, this is without Pendulum Summoning, by the way. We're going to go into Free Mask Arena, we're going to go Cross Sheep, Vortex, Souls, Selene, Summon Up Mighty Master. And then the opponent's turn, we're going to summon up another Reflection. So we're going to have six interruptions here, and your opponent's not doing anything. And in terms of not having scales right now, looking like no follow-up, people don't understand what Mighty Master does. Uh, you're going to have Mighty Master back to your hand, you're going to have Reflection back to your hand. You're going to have these two back to your hand via the Mighty Master's effects. And you can also bring up Restrict if you really want to, uh, by Selene on the next turn. Mask Arena, go into Appaloosa, you go into Selene. Go into whatever you want there. So this is just a great example of how to play new pendulums, turbo pendulums. If you paid attention there, you would re recognize why Wonder Wand. This is through hand trap as well. It's through a hand trap, guys. Uh, not many decks could do that through hand trap. Six negates through a hand trap. Decks right now can't put up six negates through any hand traps, let alone through a, a hand trap. I'm gonna show you one more common tutorial, then we'll go straight to the deck profile. This is another common tutorial. I'm gonna go fast forward the whole way. So pay attention because this one's just fast forward, fast forward, fast forward. Okay. I want you guys just a lesson here, like a lesson that you want to know why extenders are so good. Uh, they're just very powerful, man. They're very powerful. If you're going second, if, if they hand trap the blue boy, that was fantastic. What are they going to do? Hand trap us souls? You know what I mean? And you're going to want in the new format to use Daybreaker as much as you can. Uh, it's a free pop. And you just like literally one by one clear the whole field until you have access to Axis Cold Talker. And you destroy their field and OTK them. So there's another hand there. Seven negates. This is seven negates, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And Selena summon a reflection in the next turn. So that's seven negates. I mean, like, get absolutely destroyed. And that wasn't even that good. Now we're going to show you guys the deck profile. If you guys got this far, smash the subscribe button. Let's get it. This is the deck profile. Uh, we play, like I said, 43 to ensure. You don't want to draw double desire, double mastery, double restage. You prefer them all split apart. You don't want to draw three spell cards, three souls, you know? You don't want to draw two mighty masters. It's split apart to ensure it's not like that. We increase the turbo cards. We play triple Jester Confit, double Wonder One. Works great with the Lord of Darkness. Works great with Restage. Re you, the only way the Restage engine is not the most powerful is when Restage cannot resolve. But when Restage resolves, you auto win. So the addition of Reasoning, Instant Fusion, and triple Jester Confit. What's your opponent going to call it Reasoning? Six? You have one Jackal in your deck. What's your opponent going to call it? Seven? You have four sevens and you have like six level ones. But no one knows that. No one knows that you're playing triple just a confit. You know what I mean? And you can see special a free card. Reasoning's definitely like in this version is a great card. And if you send restage, you get a free right hand. So in this version with a bunch of level ones, reasoning is a great card to have. And like I said, all you're playing is draw cards and extenders. And what's your opponent gonna do? Negate a blue boy with Florida Lees? It stays in the field. So you're just wasting an interruption for your opponent. Then you go into Jester Comfort or Souls to go relinquish Anima. And because there's not enough zones and anyone forgot about Anima, uh, Anima will steal a card. Force another negate. Force another negate. And then Crowley. Force another negate. Then Wonder One. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, there are so many cards and you don't give a shit if they negate it or not. You couldn't give a less fuck. You don't care if they negate it. So, because you're playing two Wonder Ones and not three and a 43 card deck with everything like uh, mixed up, right? You're not going to draw a double Wonder Wand, you're just going to draw one, that's a perfect number, because the targets for Wonder Wand in your deck, you have 2, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Restage your card, Wonder Wand it away, like you have 15 targets for Wonder Wand. You have 2, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 targets for Restage. So it's a, it always works out, guys. It's a fantastic list that is made perfectly. Even more targets for Restage and Wonder Wand, because uh, two Pendulum cards equal Crowley, Crowley equals Blue Boy, so... You have even more than 15 and 12 in a deck that plays 20 draw cards. You know what I mean? It is consistency to its finest. I'll go in, in depth now about the side deck and extra deck. If you guys saw my last video, I had to destroy Dragma decks. You must be main decking. Nithis and Skull Knight, I think, are the best ones. I took a Caramel Ephesia for the Skull Knight because it accomplished the same result. Caramel Ephesia is never resolving. It's never resolving. If you activate Caramel Ephesia, they'll just Macabre it because they know they're going to die. So they actually waste all their monsters. They're going to waste an Alistair and a Macabre and, and a Florida Lees instantly just by doing so but if you just pop the macabre it's useless anyways so there's no reason to camera uh, get the camera easier and waste cards in your side deck for the poly and stuff like that so i all felt fossil knight was just better so you play nitis and fossil knight oh instead of the camera please show my other video and you play a bunch of hand traps on the side deck unlike last time you guys keep up on my videos the hand traps are this, this format uh, this format's meta call over cards like Dark Ruler and stuff like that. I know Tactical Talents is broken. I know that those cards are broken. Uh, Droplet's broken. Clear boards by itself. But you don't want to lose to Infernoble that takes cards out of your hand. You don't want to lose to Megalith. You want as many hand traps as you possibly can play. And you don't want to lose to Numeron. So Ghost Ogre, Imperm, and Gamma, and Dino Wrestler. You have 10 cards to clear all those, all those decks. 
So you just take out a bunch of extenders for these 10, and you change the way you play the game. So without restage, you're no longer playing the extender version. So you don't want to take out your Wonder Wands. So in that case, you want to take out your Jester Confits. So just like that, you have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then it's free to say to take out one Blue Boy or one Soul, one Reasoning. Whatever you personally want, I'll take out maybe one Souls. See, that's 10 cards. I'll take out, I'll take out the Into the Void, which is better. Uh, Souls is still very good with the decks. You take out these 10 for 10 hand traps. And against combo decks, you're absolutely golden. And against trap decks, you do a little different strategy, which I explained on my Patreon. You can check it out if you want to figure out what you do against trap decks. But it's very, very cool what you do in this build. And I'm a gigantic, 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 I can't stress this enough, gigantic fan of this list. I think it's absolutely amazing. Uh, look at the last few cards over here, this area. They all synergize so perfectly together. Like, look at these. Uh, I'll do it in a little... Okay. So look at these. One sec, I did not do that properly. Okay. Look at, uh, look at these. So, Triple Souls, Jester Confates, Allure Darknesses, the Wonder Wands, the Restages, the Reasoning, the Instant Fusion, the Knowledge. They all do the same thing. Draw them together and they are beautiful. Peanut butter and jelly. You want your deck to synergize. All these cards make Crowley. They force Negates. They force Florida Lees and Droplet. And you're still resolving your Crowley. And you're still drawing two cards. And you're still drawing two cards. And Souls is still sending Restage. Florida Lees will have to stop Souls. No problem. It'll, it'll, Droplet will have to stop Blue Boy. No problem. What's going to stop Crowley? Nothing. And you're not forgetting that because you're playing 23 spell cards, your Serving and Abductor are going to plus like crazy. Your Chronograph is still extending. Your Abductor is still searching Chronograph to extend. And it's absolutely remarkable. The only issue I could possibly find is one Jackal instead of two. I understand Desires can get rid of it. But because you have Apple and Master deck, Jackal is not as absolutely necessary as it is anymore. One Jackal is completely fine. Nibiru is getting cut from everyone's deck right now because it's garbage against the best, the most played decks. One Jackal is all that's required right now. I will, and sometimes you brick on these five or six with playing the Mighty Masters. I will not, I refuse to remove a third Mighty Master. This is the perfect ratio. One Reflection, Triple Masters, great. And that's that. Uh, I'm not going to go in-depth on each card. You guys should know it by now. I just wanted to bring up the cards that are very important. And for cards you guys might not know the name of, this is Magician's Right Hand, this is Magician's Restage, this is Reasoning, this is Wonder Wand, this is Into the Void, this is Jester Confit. You can check out the names over there if you pause over there and put them in your decks. Like I said, the hand traps are the perfect thing. For trap decks, you put these five in and you put in the Imperm if you want to against hat tra uh, trap decks depending on the deck because some trap decks can still play the Numeron. So against some, uh, some trap decks, you still have to play Gamma and stuff like that. Uh, also, because uh, Gamma, even going second is very good because all your cards are spell cards. Uh, sorry, going first is very good. So, extra deck, Triple Selene, Crowley, Daybreaker, Cross Sheep, Mis uh, Mascarena, uh, Appaloosa, Axis Code Talker, Lucashanima, Millennium Eyes, Absolute Vortex. Like I said, the Nitis and the Skull Knight from the Maximus decks. I need deck to play Dragon Maximus. Even if you're playing Dragon, just always keep it in there because they're probably going to sign in the Maximus. And the card you took out for these two in the last list was Axis Code Talker. Sorry, no, 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 Axis Code Talker. Saryusha and Nightmare Unicorn. Nightmare Unicorn, you almost never go into it, just sits there. But you want Masquerina to be an interruption via Selene or Appaloosa. Masquerina into Unicorn is already in your deck. It's called Masquerina into Selene and Selene into Reflection. So you already have a Nightmare Unicorn in your deck with Reflection. People just don't recognize that play and you don't have to discard. You don't want to discard. You're playing Pendulums. You want to save your cards. No reason to do that. And there's no spot removal you're scared of anymore that Unicorn's required. Except for perhaps against Block Dragon. But you don't really care about that because once you clear the board, they can't do anything anyways. So you're not scared of block tracking resolving after turn one. You couldn't give it less shit after it already resolved. And so this is all that's required. And then uh, Sayuja, you miss Sayuja a lot, I'll admit. I miss Sayuja a lot. So it is actually debatable to take a one Cosmic Cyclone and play one Sayuja. And then when you're not playing Dragma, you put Sayuja in for these. It's also debatable to put in the Unicorn. So when you're not playing against those decks, you could just put in the Unicorn and the... Uh, so you should in place of the Dragma cards, but I wouldn't main deck the Dragma cards because you don't want to just outright lose to some like Maximus deck where you could just destroy them. So that's the video guys. I spent a lot of time and effort and uh, duels against friends and stuff to maximize this, uh, the potential of this deck. And I firmly believe the best way to play Pendulum right now is Turbo Pendulum in this version. So try it out for yourselves and you're literally just not going to lose. Wonder One is never dead. Jester Conference never dead. And you guys saw in one of my tutorials or just now, I ensured to show you guys a huge board without Pendulum Summoning. Pendulums is uh, entered a new era. You do not need to Pendulum Summon to make a board. I did not Pendulum Summon to make a board. I just utilized the power of Jester Confit and the power of this incredible extra deck to absolutely obliterate my opponent. So I hope you guys like the video. If you guys like what you see, smash the subscribe button. Consider signing up on Patreon where you guys learn how to become Pendulum Masters in your own right. 
And lastly, every true pen god plays on a Tune Electromite cloth trip gaming play mat. So get yours in the description and you guys will absolutely love it. Cloth play mat, absolutely beautiful. Every single person that has purchased the, our cloth play mats have loved it. So I hope you guys like the video and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace! <laughs>